Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a nice one here. 2023 Topps Chrome Baseball, eight box jumbo, pick your team, 18. Next, pick your team, number 19 in the store right now. And already down to 22 teams, so don't miss out on your teams. Get them before someone else does. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. On a true Tuesday, the eighth, Josh with that last spot in Mojo. So thanks for grabbing the, that last team right there. Thanks everybody for getting in. We we're able to break this, uh, fill it and break this straight up, no filler. There's the jumbo case. And let's see what we got. Kind of a lengthy break, so kick back and relax. And let's see what we got. Empty box. You can see the stack of boxes on the top camera. See all the boxes there. We've got a single box right here. Three autographs per box on average. And what's going on in the baseball world today? Kyle Schorber, Alec Bohm with back-to-back -back homers to beat the Nationals. First of a doubleheader. Phillies beat the Nationals 8-4 in Philadelphia. A lot of games in progress. In the middle of the sixth, Marlins in Cincinnati. Reds with a narrow 2-1 lead. Bottom of the sixth in Detroit, Tigers shutting out the Twins 3-0. Top of the eighth, Cardinals in Tampa Bay. They're tied at one. End of the fourth, Astros at O's. Orioles leading 6-2. Uh, Braves are in Pittsburgh. They're down a run at the, at the uh, bottom of the fourth, end of the fourth inning. They're down a run, 4-3. Bottom of the fourth, Mets with a one-run lead on the Cubs, 2-1. Cubs playing some, some hot baseball. So the Royals have been playing well last week or so. They're shutting out the Red Sox right now. 3-0, top of the fourth. Still a lot of game to go there. Going into the fifth, Guardians with a 1-0 lead on the Blue Jays in Cleveland. Second game of the doubleheader, top of the fourth. Phillies with an early 1-0 lead. Rockies at Brewers just started. Is that Drew Waters with the home run? We, probably, we might see some Drew Waters in this set here. And uh, Yankees at White Sox. That game just started. And my Dodgers don't play until a little bit later. They're in Arizona. All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Pick your team 18. Let's breeze through these. Three autos a box. I'll do an autograph recap in the end. I love how you use Neil Diaz makes use of that canvas. Love to see it. That'll be for Aaron and the O's, former Dodgers prospect. Some, some of these can be uh, can be numbered and autographed in some cases. And our next autograph, Cody Thomas. 203 out of 499. A's, Eric M with the Athletics. And behind Cedric Mullins is Alongo, Evan Longoria to 150. That will be for Sean Maddock. Volpe, Carroll, Acuna Jr. usually right next to each other. Acuna Jr., that MVP buyback program is coming back. 
Is Acuna Jr. your favorite? I think so. Corbin Carroll, Sean Maddock, and Volpe for the Yankees. That's repeat. Hopefully we'll get we'll get some uh, parallels of those guys instead of just base. Josh Young in the mix as well. Rex has some interesting stats for us. Schwarber is tied for fourth place for having 14 multi-homer games from the leadoff spot. And there's Michael uh, Papierski, Papierski, 36 out of 50, Gold Wave autograph going to Inku and the Tigers. And since 2017, it's 5-30, there's no time for the most in Northern Arenal, Paul Goldschmidt. That's what he does. That's his job, right? Hit homers. There's a Yoshida for Josh and the Braves. Base. Base Yoshida. There's an Adley Rushman. A lot of good rookies in this class. There's Mike Trout. I've heard of him. 53 out of 99. Green Wave autograph for the Halos. Jason with that one. Is he coming back soon? They could use him. Angels could use him. All right, first box done. And we'll recap those autos a little bit later. Maybe any low numbered card, maybe anything 25 or less. We'll also recap as well. Short prints, image variations, anything unique. What other games we had? Giants are at Angels. Brutal loss for the Angels last night. That's just kind of what their team is like. My Dodgers are at, in Arizona. Padres are hosting the Mariners. I think the Mariners have been kind of playing some hot baseball lately. And Rangers are in Oakland. Well, yeah, that's the problem with Shorber, though, that average. <laughs> sort of all or nothing. Otherwise, he'd probably be considered for all sorts of end-of-season awards. There's Schorber right there, speaking of. Yeah, he's got to hit 300 for sure. 400? How many years is he into his career? You know, here's something interesting. You know that those MVP buybacks? Does Freddie Freeman have a chance? I mean, if you break down the numbers, I know Acuna has definitely more steals than Freddie Freeman, but this could be interesting. Jason with the Dodgers. You know, if Acuna Jr. slips a little bit and uh, Freddie Freeman continues his hot season, is there a chance? Is there a chance that Freddie Freeman wins MVP? Otani for sure is going to win the AL MVP, I would think. Right, so when was his first full season? 2017? And there's Josh Lester, rookie autograph for the Tigers in Coop. We got Alexis Diaz, Gold Wave, 47 out of 50. 
So he has 200, do the math for us, Rex. 200, what's 227 home runs divided by, divided by seven? Wow. Ainsinger saying Cubs are going to win the division. It's 32 homers, seven seasons. I mean, let's say he plays another seven seasons, another 227 home runs. I mean, what's 227? That's over. That's over. That's 450 homers. There's the back of the baseball card. I mean, he's got to have a couple of these kind of seasons. Those sort sort of a 40. If he kind of punctuates his averages with a with a big one, big big season here or there. I mean, he might get 500. You know, thankfully with the DH, you know, he doesn't, he's going to be DHing most of the time. So he's not going to risk injury in the field. There's McCutcheon to 199. 30 years old. So let's say, yeah, I'm thinking, I don't know if 10 years at that production, but maybe six more years. He could probably play another 10 seasons. But at the level he's at now, wait, what am I doing here? Is that our third autograph? It's only one auto? I think there's only one auto in that box. Here's the first three. And I don't think we got any. It's a bummer. Maybe we'll get a bonus auto in another box. All right, I'm not going. I'm not going crazy, right? No, because I remember all these cards. I wouldn't have missed an autograph. They're pretty obvious. No, I remember that Oscar Gonzalez refractor. I remember that Devers prison. Yeah, it happens sometimes, folks, but maybe we'll get a, a fourth auto in another box. That's why these, uh, that's why it's good to do these full case breaks. If the case gives us a chance to make up for it. Ah, trivia time. Rex has got some trivia for us. Name the seven players in five in the 500 home, home run club that have not been elected to the Hall of Fame. Three of them are super easy. I say Dave Kingman. Dave Kingman. Oh, there's a good one. Dano, A-Rod, yeah. Does Paul Canerco have 500 home runs? No, not Kingman. Miguel Cabrera. Does he have 500? Oh, Bonds, yeah.
the same time, we control the audio. If there's a red border around it, it means you're listening to that game. If there's a blue now, right, Mark McGuire, Sosa, Pujols. And there's an Adley Rushman. That's, a, that's an image variation, a short print, and 37 out of 50 gold speckle. Nice one for the Orioles. Aaron Billingsley with the O's. Nice, looking real sharp there. You can see the, the different numbers on the back right there. David Ortiz is in the Hall of Fame. Pujols doesn't have 500 home runs? And Manny Ramirez, maybe? Pants man is saying? Manny Ramirez is one. Palmero, Rafael Palmero. You got a Brian Servant autograph. 220 out of 499 for the Rocks. That's for Mark N. For the Rockies. Yes on Palmero. One more. Now Tomei, I think, is in. Isn't Tomei in? I think Jim Tomei's in. The Hall of Fame. There's Sandy Alcantara. 32 out of 99. Freddie Freeman, outside chance. He might be an MVP. This would be good for the buyback. The buyback program. Juan Gonzalez, does he have 500 home runs? Eddie Murray's in the Hall of Fame too, no? Eddie Murray's got to be in the Hall of Fame. We're talking five players that are not, who have 500 plus home runs, but not in the Hall of Fame, is the uh, question. And we got Egai Rosario, 145 out of 150, Blue Ray Wave autograph. Played for the Dodgers, Yankees, and Padres? And has over 500 home runs, but is not in the Hall of Fame? There's Yachty to 350. And our third autograph is Freddie Tarnock to 150. Winfield's in the Hall of Fame, though. So it can't be Dave Winfield. Uh, that's Eric M. with the A's. A 500-plus home run hitter played for eight teams, including the Dodgers, Yankees, and Padres, but not in the Hall of Fame. <clears throat> Excuse me. Not in the Hall of Fame. Currently a sports agent? A 500 homer hitting sports agent? Dano cheated, didn't expect that one. I'm gonna hold off on the answer. Any, any other guesses? This is a good trivia question.
He's a nine-time All-Star, a World Series champion, a silver five-time Silver Slugger Award, and an NL batting champion. And he's not in the and has 500 plus home runs. And he's not in the Hall of Fame. Oh, is this an oh yeah moment? Oh, I don't, does David? I don't think David Justice has 500 home runs. I think it might be Gary Sheffield. Is it Gary Sheffield? It's gotta be Gary Sheffield. He played for all of those teams. Gary Sheffield. I, he, I, I could see him being like a, like, like the veterans committee will, will put him in at some point. Wow. Yeah, that is a, that is, you're right, Dan. That, that's like, oh yeah, that kind of moment. He's got a cool autograph. Good penmanship from Gary Sheffield. And we got a Cal Stevenson, another Oakland A for Eric M. Good value for the A's. Not, they don't have like the, the top tier rookies, but they've got a lot of rookies on the checklist. So just, just a little future value there if you're looking for that. Dodger Joe Bias here. Freddie Freeman, possible MVP? Maybe? We got Max Meyer, 220 out of 250, purple chrome autograph for the fish. Pete with the Marlins. He was a late pickup as well. The Spencer Sear Refractor, he's having a nice season. We got Nolan Jones to 399. Magenta for the Rocks. That's gonna be for Mark. Dave Casey, you've got the uh, you've got the Spencer Steer Refractor. Yeah, I don't I mean I don't know if the all stars carry as much weight as it used to maybe for for Hall of Fame consideration, but 500 home runs, silver sluggers, NL batting champion, it's a pretty good resume. Wonder what he, what is he missing? Maybe like an MVP, maybe if he had an MVP or two. Maybe that would have, would have put him, put him on a, put him in the Hall of Fame. You know, maybe he didn't have like a one singularly dominant stretch. You know, maybe like a three, three to five year stretch where he was just, just leading the league in all these categories. Maybe he was too similar to a lot of other hitters around that time. But he's got a lifetime 292 batting average. Looking at his stats now, he's 2,600 hits. You know, that's probably, if he played another four, four or five seasons, might have had 3,000 to go along with those 509 home runs. There's Luis uh, Liberato, 101 out of 199. He's got 250 stolen bases. He's swiped some bags here and there. Career OPS of 907. I mean, he was in top three MVP voting late in his career, too. In 2003 with the Braves, 2004 with the Yankees, he was his top three MVP voting. And then it was top three MVP voting early in his career with the Padres. Yeah, maybe that's what it was, Stephen K. That's what I'm thinking, too. That's where, that's where my brain's going. That he put up the numbers, but he just didn't have, have that one standout season or two that maybe 
you know, that, that maybe would put him over the edge there. Maybe bouncing around some teams could have hurt a little bit. And we've got a Teoscar Hernandez to 199. A little color match there with that aqua. That's for the M's. That will be for Michael P. Wonder who we lost those MVPs to. Well, you know what? Here's the problem, Stephen K. And everybody else. The year he was with the Braves and finished third in MVP voting, you know who finished ahead of him? Guys like Barry Bonds won the MVP that year with a 9-2 war. Albert Pujols finished second with an 8-7 war. Gary Sheffield only had 6.8. You know, so there are, there are guys, there are guys ahead of him. Uh, the following season in 2004, when he was with the Yankees, he finished second in MVP voting to, uh, to Vlad Guerrero Sr., who was with the Angels at the time, who had a 5-6 war. Sheffield had a 4-2 war. Although if you re-voted, maybe Ichiro would have won it because he had a 9-2 war, and he finished seventh in MVP voting. All he did was bat 372 on the season, led the league, had 262 hits, led the league. But yeah, he just kind of got, got kind of got buried in that sort of sense. What about early in his career, where he, where he had a top three finish in MVP voting when he was with the Padres? Yeah, Barry Bonds again. Pittsburgh Barry Bonds was ahead of him, and then Terry Pellinson finished second, and then it was Gary Sheffield. But if those guys didn't exist. That could have been three MVPs for for Sheffield throughout his career. Maybe a back to back, and maybe that would have changed things a little bit. I'm assuming his his Hall of Fame eligibility is is it done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Twenty twenty three was his last. Was is nine years. How many years do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So he had 55% of the vote in 2023. Which obviously did not get in. Anyone know off the top of their head? Here's Nelson Velasquez. Rookie auto for the Cubs. That'll be for Eric Christensen. That is uh, for the Cubs, once again. Michael Harris, the second refractor for the Braves, Tyler. Does he get, is it 10 years of voting? How many, does he get one more year maybe? Got a Jermaine Palacios, 89 out of 499. That'll be for the Tigers in Coop with Detroit. And a red Matt Olson, two out of five. Tyler Zuckerman with the Braves. Congrats out of fives and under. Get the world famous. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I like it. All 
All right, should be expecting one more autograph out of here. On average, there's Tyler, congrats. I've heard of Olsen, he's pretty good. And we've got a Luis Librato, 199 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for the Friars, Mark with the Padres. The Nolan Gorman rookie refractor for the Cardinals. That'll be for Alex. Volpe, Carroll, Acuna Jr. is the pattern most boxes. See what's behind Cedric Mullins. Got a Ryan Nelson photo negative for the Diamondbacks. That'll be for Sean Maddock. Three boxes to go. Yeah, hey, you'll take it, right? Out of five, red parallel. Not so bad. Next box. Jan, what's up? Went to your LCS, picked up some Goodwin Champions, and got a painted card of a what? A Garanuk? A National Park Relic of, of Sand Cave in Kentucky. I do like those National Park Relics, though. But I don't know what a Garanuk is. That sounds like a... Uh, Sounds like a, uh, some sort of creature in Star Wars. Ah, oh, Garanix. I hate Garanix. Garanix? Why did it have to be Garanix? Imagine Han Solo saying that. Garanix. Why did it have to be Garanix? Hate these guys. Oh, a little mail day for Duncan in Australia. A little Jaspi box on the desk. Excellent. So I'm assuming that, uh, I'm assuming that Shohei Otani will win the MVP in the AL. Is the NL race closer than we think? There's Michael Toglia, 237 out of 299. I see, Dano, thank you. The Garanuk, also known as the Giraffe Gazelle, is a long-necked, medium-sized antelope found in parts of East Africa. Sounds delicious. Wait, can we eat them? Three horns never play with long necks. What's that from, everyone remember that movie? There you go, Jan. Good one, The Land Before Time, classic. There you go, Michael's got it as well. Josh Young reveals this guy, Igai Rosario. Sequels, not, no, not, not good at all. I think Bluth had quite a run with those 
animated features back in the day. All right, there's Oscar Gonzalez, Gold Wave to 50. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to debate. Is Ronald Acuna, the, I, I think Vegas has Ronald Acuna Jr. as the runaway favorite for NL MVP. But if I just sort by wins above replacement war, Ronald Acuna Jr. has a 5-6 war. Hassan Kim has a 5-6 war. And then Betts and Freeman are tied at 5-2. That race feels a lot closer than I th I don't know if Hassan Kim's going to actually get MVP votes. That'd be interesting, though. But if you just go by counting stats, you know, Freddie Freeman has a few more hits than, than Ronald Acuna Jr. Freddie Freeman has a slightly better average, 0 .001 better than uh, Acuna Jr. Freddie Freeman has, has almost 11 more doubles than Acuna Jr. Um, Freddie Freeman, I don't know if he has a lot of triples. He doesn't, not like he has a lot of wheels, but... Acuna Jr. has two triples. Freeman also has two triples. They got the same amount of triples. Right? Uh, Ronald Acuna has 25 home runs. Freddie Freeman has 23 home runs. Freddie Freeman has 80 RBIs. Acuna Jr. 67 RBIs. You know? Acuna Jr. 58 walks, Freddie Freeman 52 walks. Acuna Jr. has, the stolen bases might be the, the difference maker. He has 53 stolen bases. But Freddie Freeman still has like, what, 20 some odd stolen bases? 16 stolen bases, which is good for him. And he's percentage points ahead of Acuna Jr. in OPS. That's interesting. I mean, I, I think that race might be a little bit closer than we think. Here's Michael Toglia for the Rockies, Mark. What do we think? Yeah, Freddie Freeman has been having a nice year. Still, still a couple months left, but do they factor in significance of the hits in the voting? Like number, yeah, I mean, they might have to. You know, with how close this race is getting, this MVP race is getting, at least statistically, then you might start having to think, how else do you split hairs? Is it just gonna be stolen bases? Is that what's gonna keep the edge? For Acuna Jr., maybe. Ooh, some orange coming up. Orange wave, Michael Harris the second rookie. Michael Harris the second, 13 out of 25. There you go, Tyler. Maybe this was the guy you were looking for. Couple nice parallels. All right, two more to go. But I think that'll be a fun race to watch down the stretch. Mookie Betts might get some votes too, but I think he'd have to really heat up in order to maybe, well, I don't know, maybe Freeman and Betts may end up splitting votes for baseball riders and then that might give Acuna the edge. That might be pretty close. Stephen K saying, I think Omaha Steak is giving 12 free Garnet burgers to get one of their featured summer specials. I'll try, I'll try it. It's got to be like venison, right? You ever see that video from the 85 Braves Mexicans where the bottom of the 18th picture Rick Camp had the game time? No. It's a random reference. Rick Camp? 
Ryan Boone saying being able to uh, turn all of your singles and doubles by stealing bases is a pretty big deal. True. True. Ryan would be interested in both of their runners and scoring position averages. I got you, Ryan. Let's go. Let's go. Freddie Freeman splits 2023. Oh, no. I can't find it fast enough. <laughs> Leading off an inning. Bases occupied. Clutch stats. I don't know, I'll have to look at that. I'll have to look that up later. Here, there's there's the Freddie Freeman page, and then someone look find runners in scoring position. The Buckwild kind of said, yeah, that that's the fun part of Major League Baseball. It, it definitely, especially the people that are really into it, definitely captures a certain kind of fan. You gotta like the numbers. You gotta like these weird stats. All right, we got another Igai Rosario, 11 out of 150. Seth saying website gone now too. Hanjo, which web? This this web? Jaspi's casebreaks.com still here. Is the, is the website down? Is that what you're saying, Seth? Spencer Steer Prism. No? Casebreaks.com still up. Website is here. Is is uh, is here. Has been here. Are you going to the wrong site, Seth? Jaspi's Casebreaks.com. I'm looking at it. Yeah, try again, Seth. That you, it might be something on your end. Here is Matt Walner, rookie auto for the Twins. Ryan Boone. There you go, Ryan, on the board. Maybe a run on some Twins here to close things out. Hey, let's see, I'm talking up Freddie Freeman. Here he is to 150. Dodgers, Jason with the Dodgers. 131 out of 150. All right, he might have an outside chance. He might have an outside chance at the MVP. Yeah, little color match as well. Blue parallel for the boys in blue, Volpe. Carol Acuna Jr. is the pattern most of the time. Anyone else having issues with the website, by the way? No one else has said anything, Seth. I think Jaspi's casebreaks.com working just fine. I'm seeing orders coming in too. All right, if he wins the MVP, yep, potential $200 buyback situation at participating hobby shops. Tops is bringing back their uh, their MVP promo. In fact, we can see some of those last year's MVP cards, buyback cards, in this set. Really short printed, though. Palacios for the Tigers. Another Tiger for Inku. Ah, interesting. Freddie Freeman, runners in scoring position, 381. Acuna Jr., 316. I mean, both really good, but... I think as this MVP race comes down to the finish, you know, we're gonna have to split hairs like that, I think. Can be only one winner. I mean, it might just take one slump from either player, one like short little slump from either player that'll make the difference. You know, like Duncan was saying earlier, maybe a, a clutch hit, clutch homer or two, or some sort of clutch play or something like that. That might be the difference. Anyway, that, I think in terms of 
individual awards, I think that's going to be a fun storyline to follow in the NL. There's Estuary Ruiz, the speedster, the 350 for the A's. Eric? Got another Adley Rushman there. All right, final box. Yeah, when are my Dodgers playing again? They're in Arizona tonight. I think Chris Jaspie's at that game. Yeah, they start at 640, so. Oh, perfect right now. We've we'll watched the beginning of the game, and I'm taking a quick little break. Once again, we got another jumbo case loaded up in the store, ladies and gentlemen. And only three left in the the hobby dual case break. That could be a perfect one after I'm refueled and re-energized from my dinner break. We can dive into the uh, two hobby case break. I feel like, I don't know, I, maybe it's just me. Maybe I don't have the, the proper perspective, but does it feel like, uh, here's Josh Lester, rookie autograph for the day. Does it feel like 2023 Topps Chrome has been a lot more popular than 2022 Topps Chrome baseball? Maybe there's just more rookies to chase in this set. You know, maybe the MVP buyback possibility also helps. You know, maybe it's because we got guys like Corbin Carroll and Anthony Volpe to chase. Oh, and the short print rookies were missing last. Here's a refractor, Josh Young. That's nice. That's going to go to Tristan and the Rangers. Yeah, I think that's what Grizz was was talking about. Yeah, that probably did it. Uh, that's coming back to me now. Well, it's certainly been hot here at Jaspie's. Not only have we been moving group breaks of this pretty constantly and consistently, we've been selling a lot of it from the shop level as well, so a lot of the a lot of the locals still buying Topps Chrome baseball. Here's another Josh Lester to four ninety nine. And Koo's happy though. You got the base. Now you got the refractor. One more auto to go. Here's another Rushman. Chris Sale to 399. And Bo Jackson is our ultraviolet all stars. Nice. Royals, Brandon with Kansas City. This guy knows. Love the look of the uh, the ultraviolet all stars. And we got an orange wave, Oscar Gonzalez. 19 out of 25, Ryan Boone with the Guardians. Cleveland, this is for you. There you go, Ryan. Not another Tiger here. There you go, we got a Yoshida Refractor. 
That's for the Red Sox, Josh. I think we have another numbered card maybe to close it out. Maybe. Oh, there's a green down there somewhere. Wait for it. And it's a green Trey Turner. 25 out of 99 for the Fighting Phils. Dano with the Phillies. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, full eight box break of Topps Chrome Baseball. We got another jumbo case in the store loaded up right now if you want to get on it. Here's a quick little recap. Thanks everybody for watching and for breaking with us. That Adley Rushman image variation short print was pretty awesome. The out of five, Matt Olson was sweet and love the ultraviolet all-stars right there. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And we'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.